happy Tuesday, everybody. We're trucking along on the work week. We got a couple more days this week, a couple more days to the weekend. All right, so I've been hit up a few times onto this, and as you guys can see, it's a uh, Kobe Bryant rookie card that was graded three times. Now, the story behind this is a lot of people have been asking me, is this real? It very well could be. Um, I know I have proof way back in my videos of submitting a card, it coming back uh, BGS 9, and I believe the subgrades were something like 10, 9, 5, I forget what I'm trying to remember what it was. 10, 9, 5, 9, 9, something like that. It gave me a BGS 9, but there was a 10 involved. But when you add it up, it would have made sense to be a 9, 5 or something on there. So, um, I resubmitted the card, and this is the funny part. My subgrades came back, quad 9, 5 on the card. So, I could tell you that each grader is going to look at it different. You are pretty much would have a good chance of getting a different grader. So you never know how your card's going to grade. Now this one here, from my understanding, started off as a PSA 8. The guy thought it was supposed to be a lot better. Resubmitted the PSA, came back a PSA 5, which really shocked me. He then turned around and sent it to Beckett. As you guys can see, it was a min gem, 395s with a 9 on corners. But he still got the, you know, the 9.5 gem min on to it. Uh... You know, it's just shocking when you see stuff like this. And But from experience, I can tell you it happens. I've been one of them guys who will look at cards in a slab with a crazy grade back in the day. And I still kind of do it now. And I'm like, I don't think that card deserved that grade. And I'll buy it at a fraction of the price. I would resubmit it. And, you know, I would get a bump up in grade onto it because, you know... Somebody might have missed it or just seen it different. Maybe they had something, you know, I don't know. It could have been any reason out there. You know, some of us call it the grader had a bad day or bad week, whatever. But, you know, it, it happens across the board regardless of what company it is. I mean, I gave a perfect example at the last show where, and you guys seen it too if you watched me when I was reviewing my cards. I was getting ready to uh, look at what's going to PSA. And I'm like, there's no way these are going to come back PSA 8s because of the marks in the front. Send them to SGC, and they came back either SGC 9, 9, 5. I think one came back a 10, 10, if I recall right. But, you know, stuff like that there, each grading company grades different. They have their own little system that goes on out there. And nothing is ever going to be equal across the board. And once you start grading with uh, all the companies, you start learning basically, you know, hey, this card should go here, here, or here. You know, where am I going to get the best grade possible for this card to be worth the most? Since I'm spending so much more money now on grading. And, uh, you know, and I'm, I know I've heard people tell me that they've sent other cards in that were tens to get reslabbed. They came back nines because. You know, PSA re-looked at the card, even though they're just supposed to re-slab it and gave them a 9. And they had to fight. Uh, two of the guys had to fight over it, and they got the difference. But they're like, no, I bought this as a 10. You know, years ago, and this is what 10s are going for. You just downgraded without me even asking. And so, you know, they, they got their money from it and stuff like that there. But, I mean, what do you guys think? You know... Have you guys ever had this experience submitting a card multiple times with multiple different grades? I mean, I know I have. Um, and that's just for the fact of even looking. And my thing has always been if it's a quad 9.5 or better, you have a good chance of getting a 10 at PSA, but you also have a good chance of coming back a 9 or an 8 too. I've seen it go all, every which way. But with the new um, price levels, it you really can't afford to mess around like we used to in the past on this stuff because it was inexpensive. At the same time, you know, car prices weren't all over the place and went way up high on a lot of this stuff. Now they're settling down, but you 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 can afford it more now. Not so much when you're starting to dump two hundred dollars plus into a grading. If you don't have much in the card to begin with, yeah, you could afford it if it's a couple thousand dollar card, but wow, you know. But yeah, no, for my answer for all the emails too, I just wanted to share this was yes, uh, I do believe this is probably did happen. I, I can, per can honestly see it happening because it's happened to me before. Um, 
I mean, I know I get a lot of guys who get some bad PSA grades hit me up when I start looking to stuff. It's, it's hard when you start looking at pictures, but you have to really blow it up to start looking. I can usually find a little thing here or there and be like, hey, they're killing you on service because of this and this. You know, just things that might have been overlooked. And just like my stuff, you know, when it comes back, and I'm like, what did I miss on to? And I'm like, ugh, how did I miss this? It's just you get tired after you're looking through so many cards. That's why a lot of times you see me take a break after about an hour, hour and a half of doing this stuff. But... All right, everybody. Yeah, I figured I'd share this. I mean, like I said, this was pushed all over the place uh, last week, and I've hitting a lot of emails up about it. Figure with much email traffic, I had it <laughs> deserved a video uh, onto it. That way, everybody could see where I'm pretty much at. Opinion? No, that is not my phone on there. That was just uh, the pictures that were posted somewhere else out there that I just took. So, no, my battery's not half life. <laughs> but um, all right, everybody. Take care of a good week. I'm going to continue plugging. I got a longer video I'm trying to work on now. And then Friday night is overtime. Saturday I'm hitting two local uh, shows up. Unless I go to the first one and I just uh, really uh, overspend. I might not hit the second one up. But look for two different videos coming out on that. I'll split them up that way. It's not, you know an hour long video or something like that of going through card shows. Plus I'm not set up so I can get more footage this time. All right. You guys have a good week. Catch y'all either live on overtime or, uh, I'll probably be coming live here shortly in the upcoming weeks to start looking stuff over again for PSA and putting the old, uh, I forget what they called that thing. Dream crusher on the screen, the microscope. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one. Talk to y'all later.